Hi Cancer, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. Um, this is your Christmas reading. It's going to be from the 20th of December through to the 1st of January. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to capture the solstice, I want to capture Hanukkah, I want to capture Christmas, any winter celebration that you celebrate. Um, no matter whether you celebrate something or not, I want this to be relevant for you. So I've named this particular spread the gift. It's my gift to you. Um, now we're going to kick off with these three cards at the back because on the solstice there is going to be an alignment with Jupiter and Saturn that is going to produce an illusion of a massive star in the sky. And the last time that was seen was 800 years ago. Can you imagine the energy that we can draw off of that? So I just want to capture what the solstice star is going to mean for you energetically. So we've got that, st that card in the middle there from the star temple to tell us what your energy is. And then I've pulled two cards, one from the angel deck and one from the Gaia deck. They are either storytellers or clarifiers or a mixture of the two. So that's how we're going to start the story off. And then we get to your gift. Now this is a box with a bow on the top. So this is your reveal and your clarifier. This is your energy and your clarifier. This is your um, foundation and your clarifier. And this, my lovelies here, is what's crossing you. Now that's the ribbon that goes round the box. And underneath the ribbon, when we move that out of the way, there is the gift. And that is six oracle cards from six different decks to make up your gift. To give you a feel of what this Christmas celebration is going to be. And I know it's going to be difficult in the UK. I've got no doubt about that at all. It's going to be difficult across the world for everybody. Um, no matter what it is that you celebrate. Um... And I kind of get the feeling that everybody just needs to be in the energy. And if you can't be with the people that you love, just send them the energy out to them so that they can actually feel you around them. Um, that's probably the best that we can do, given the circumstances currently. So, lovelies, let's kick off, Cancer, with your... Solstice Star card, and I'm just looking for some glasses because the writing on these cards is beautiful, gorgeously presented. However, I can't see them. And here we have Peony, Mother of the Saint, really Cancer, Goddess. I surrender to boundless and creative flow of the ocean I, you know cats couldn't make it up couldn't make it up so darlings your clarifier or your storyteller is the high priestess archangel haniel and this is powerful psychic insights reflection and meditation that provides valuable information be at peace you would never be more at peace than being the creator, having create, being able to create and having the flow of the sea around you. I mean, that just stands to reason for a Cancerian. I think that's beautiful so far. Oh my goodness, look at this. Queen of Fire, go after your desires. It's not as high energy as the king. The queen is male or female. She knows her stuff, she knows her passion, she knows her desires and she's willing to put herself out there to get them, he or she. Um, I'm kind of getting that for you, you're being told, although this is quite gentle, isn't it? I surrender to the boundless creative flow of the ocean and powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation provides valuable information, be at peace. And then you get this, remember remember your desires remember your passions um because i'm kind of getting that for some of you during what we've been through um may have forgotten what it is that makes you tick and they're saying tap into that 
tap into that because that fire card it's like the queen of wands she's got that wand in her hand she can make magic she can um and she can make things happen for other people and she can make things happen for herself and she understands the want and the desire of the human condition she does not see any wrong in that whatsoever nothing zilch she just sees that as a natural progression of the human condition i'm going to use that word that phrase twice because i just want people to understand that um if you are going with the flow of the sea to create and you have got psychic powers and you have got the ability of the to be able to see hear think feel whatever it is um valuable information and being at peace you also need to know the counteraction of that and that is the desire to do what it is that makes you tick it makes you tick so darlings let's get on with the rest of your reading oh and by the way did i did i say i can't remember if i said that 800 years since the last star came round so yeah it's huge so darlings look at this you've got the seven of wands this is the seven of fire let me tell you normally i would get down over rich yourself and this time i'm saying reach for the sky just reach up as high as you can without putting yourself in any danger or any risk um, because your desire is there for the taking if you really want it um it depends on where you want to start with this if you want to start a bit lower and build up to it or if you're just going to grab what it is that you want and do you know a few months ago i can't remember what star sign it was i said if that was me i'd go for the the one down here the lowest one and use that one to flick the top one off do you know do you know what i mean it depends on how much whatever this is it depends on how much you want it um to make it happen for you and it's on the cards it's on the cards there's information coming to you in regards to this desire of yours and darlings your clarifier is you clearly walking away from something towards a whole new brand new way of life um, this could be you moving from the city to the town or town to the country, vice versa, but it is a whole new way of life. You will look over your shoulder and honour and think about where you've come from, how far you've come, but this is a new way of life. So your clarifier is, is that if you are, have got movement around you, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual or sensual, um, your clarifier is that you are moving towards that. You're recognising the lessons that you've learned, but you are moving towards that. So your energy card, you have the crone. She's a witch. There's no two ways. I know people go, oh, she's a crone. Yes, she's a witch. She's been a witch for a long time. She has now passed her childbearing years, and now she comes into her own she offers the knowledge and the wisdom of a lifetime she has walked this path for a long time and her companion offers her strength to continue that journey so your energy is is if you've accumulated knowledge and wisdom that you feel now needs to be shared out with people now is the time to do it because you have the strength to do it you have the know-how how to do it and your clarifier is yeah You've now got the six of a Thames. You've thought about things. You have moved into calmer waters. And you can now clearly see across that water to your future. Wow. So your foundation. Yeah. A lot of people are getting this card out, lovelies. This is the um, ten of a Thames. This is problems and issues solved. And as you've solved each one, you've put them into the ground and now it's formed a circle of protection around you. And so what it's saying is with this completion, there becomes a new beginning. Your completion is you now use your issues and problems to protect you rather than distress you. Um, and with the new beginning, you will learn to cut away the things that don't matter as much as other things um 
the peripherals, the tittle tattle, the he said, she said, it will all move away from you. So your clarifier, oh well, your clarifier for your foundation is you've got the sun card. This is the best card in the deck. There is another one that's very close to this. But this is everything. This is sunshine. This is summer. This is basking in the sun. It's basking in joy and light. Um, it's lighter, warmer days. Think of how that makes you feel. You've got the sunflowers growing in the garden, highly spiritual. You've got a roof over your head. You've got work. It's everything. Everything is as it should be and it is coming towards you and it is in your foundation. So what is crossing you or blocking you at the moment, That this does not surprise me with you, Cancer. You have the Nine of Wands. You are standing in defence of something. You are overprotecting something. Project or plan or whether it's yourself, I don't know. But you are still kind of like, mm, not sure I want to give the game away, so I'm not going to. Be careful who you are talking to about it because that may make you feel even more so in protection mode than you already are. But you, I'm getting that you are being a bit fucking prickly to say the least. Uh, I've done this wrong, haven't I? Hold on a second. Uh, that one, that one, yeah. No, other way around. <gasps> Pulled them out wrong, lovely. So these are your gift from the Oracle. So we have ceremony and invocation. So you have got this over here with the high priestess and then you've got invocation here um i'm kind of getting that there may be a spiritual shift for you in the next 10 days especially if you get to see that wonder in the sky you have eagle see things from a higher perspective oh my gosh look at this the oracle's gift this is either a gift that you've got that you can voice this out. This is a number 11 card or somebody is going to say something to you that is just going to make a whole lot of sense. Remember what this says, valuable information is coming to you. It's being clarified by the oracle that there's an oracle's gift. Now, an oracle is a messenger. It's a messenger. So the gift is coming to you. You have air, imagination. Darlings, I'm getting that a lot of you are very creative. Um, but it's going to take your imagination for you to shift this on. And did you, I don't know if you remember what this says. I surrender to the boundless creative flow of the sea. And then you go and get imagination. Don't dismiss your imagination. Don't dismiss it. If it comes into your head, act on it. The universe loves that, that it really does. So your next card is a blessing on a friendship. There is a friendship out there. And I'm kind of getting that. This person's been around for a long time, Cancer. They have. Um, and I'm getting that you're very close with this person. Don't forget to reach out to them. Don't forget. To kind of like have those conversations. It's all very well thinking about somebody. But I have to say that rather than just think about someone. Please reach out to them and make sure that they know that you are thinking about them. And then darlings you have got Zen Garden with Inner sanctuary this is you going within this is meditation this is dream states this there is going to be a bit of a shift for you if it's not already started it is going to happen for you um one the star card there and then the reaching up for as high as you can get it the invocation the crone the oracle's message Seeing stuff from a higher perspective, the sun card, 
it all adds up to there being a shift in you now whether that's physical mental emotional spiritual or sensual only you can answer that but there is something that is really passionately desirably waiting to either be revealed or be discovered so can i have a card last card please for cancer's gift i'm only taking one So your remaining card, my darlings, is sacred space. I find peace, security and contentment and surround by, when surrounded by nature's beauty. So if that sacred place for you is not within, it is actually a physical space. And a lot of us do have a physical space we like to go to. Um, Darlings, just remember that you don't have to journey there physically in order to visit. You can journey there uh, in a meditation or a dream state. Lovelies, that is my gift to you. I want to say a big thank you for doing this journey with me on Angels and Ancestors. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you. Please be safe. And I will see you in the next reading. Bye for now.